We didn't really know what we were doing. I was just a kid with a lot of chutzpah. Back then, nobody went to Brooklyn. They were kind of like pioneers. There was a knowledge that this was going to help a lot of underground people make music. It wasn't even called hip hop, really. It was just this new weird thing that was happening. The collaboration, everyone was on their A game. What Sonic Youth was doing at the time was pretty radically different than what anybody was doing, so we didn't know exactly how to record what we were doing or how to capture it. And it's just a skanky basement, but uh, it just it had sort of naturally decent acoustics. These stairs have actually ended up on a f quite a few records. I love the way drums sound out there. I like it. I like how it sounds. Martin would just let you kind of go haywire in the basement and <laughs> destroy whatever you wanted to. From what was a very small scene of like indie rock, experimentalism, and counterculture, and this really kind of snowballed into something big. To get nominated for a Grammy and to go on stage and perform and then win, there's nothing else to say. I kind of miss those days of chaos. Anyone who's been in this area and made music that mattered at one point connected with this guy over the last 35 years. One of those historical places that can actually generate new inspiring material.